All right, you've got your keywords and you've connected them with Boolean operators to become search strings. Now it's time to search. Let's start with the Academic Search Complete Database, as it is the most extensive database to which the Sanjak Library subscribe, and it is a great place to search for information on just about everything. Start by going to the Sanjak Library website. Click on Article Databases. Open the General Research category and click on Academic Search Complete. If you're off campus, you will be prompted to log in with your name and G number to prove that you are a San Jacinto College student with access to the database. Now, let's try one of your search queries. You'll notice that the search interface is kind of Google-like, easy to use and not scary at all, right? First, type your chosen keywords or search string into the search box. Then, look down in the search limiters area of the screen and check the box next to full text. Unfortunately, not all of the articles in the Academic Search Complete database are in full text for a variety of reasons. Clicking full text will tell the computer you only want to search for those items that are available in their entirety. Now, click on search. Pretend there's a few seconds of really cool pause music here. If you don't get any results, you may have spelled something wrong or used a search string that's too specific. Remember that fewer words gets you more results, kind of like the old adage, less is more. Oh, and don't wait until you're ready to throw the computer through the window to ask for help. Consult a librarian if you get stuck. Pay attention to the number of search results you retrieve. If you get too many or too few, you may need to change your search terms. I added a keyword here to get my results list under 200. It's a lot easier to sort through a few results than several thousand. Keep track of your search terms and limiters on the left-hand column of your search results list. Sometimes Academic Search Complete loses your request for full text for reasons of its own, so make sure it's checked. Results are sorted by date, with the most recent items listed first. Don't be afraid to use older information if it's still valid. Go through your results by reading article titles and abstracts. This will take some time, but it's worth it to find the most relevant and helpful resources. You can tell a lot about an article from the results list. Can you read all the words in the title? Do the people who wrote the article have a lot of initials after their names, indicating scholarly credentials? Does the original source have the word journal in the title? If the article has an abstract, there will be a little magnifying glass next to the article title on the right. Click on it to activate a pop-up with the abstract in it. This is a very quick way to tell if you want to look at the full article or just keep on moving down the list. If the article seems relevant to your topic and you want to read further, you can click on the HTML or PDF full text link in the pop-up box to access the full article. PDF files are like photocopies of the article from the journal pages, so if there are pictures or graphs, they'll be in the PDF file. When you find a result that looks relevant for your topic, click on the article title to open up the detailed record. This will allow you to see the proper assigned subject terms for the article and search using those terms. Open the full text of the article and use the tool palette to email or print the article. So let's try it. Click on an article title in your results list. If you click on a subject heading to view more articles, on that subject, be sure and check your search limiters and make sure that full text is still marked. If you choose the print icon from the tool palette on the detailed record of the article, the database will only print the detailed record and not the full text of the article. If the article is in a PDF file, you will have to open the file and use the PDF print option to print the article. If you click on a subject heading and navigate away from your original results list, don't forget to check your limiters and make sure you're still looking at only full text articles. To bypass the detail page, just click where it says PDF or HTML full text in the results list. 
The best option for saving the articles to read later and use in your research is to email the articles to yourself so that you will have both the article and the proper citation for the article electronically in your email box. Use the tool palette to the right of the Adobe frame to click on the email icon. It looks like an envelope. When the email dialog box opens, enter your email address and a subject line so the email doesn't get lost in your spam filter. Check the radio button next to citation format and choose the format your instructor requires for your assignment from the pull-down list. Click the checkbox next to PDF in order to get the PDF file of your article as an attachment. Then click on Send. When you receive your email from the database, in this case EPNet, the article will be attached and the proper citation for the article will be contained in the body of the email. Do you know how to copy and paste? I thought so. See how cool this is? Remember that the citation is created by a person at the database company that is not getting a grade for their work. So check the database generated citation against the instructions your professor gives you to make sure it meets the requirements of your assignment. And that is how easy it is to search the Academic Search Complete database. If you need help searching this or any other database, ask a librarian. We're here to help.